either scrubbers and fans or whatever. Brad and Doran from uh, Prairie Off Road here. Well, I gotta apologize. I'm sorry that I haven't been making any off roading videos. Uh, I'm sitting here pretty much waiting for parts. Uh, it wasn't even. I didn't even have the truck picked up yet, and I ordered my parts already. I ordered my lift kit. Order some stuff from PRG Products, since you know they're the best for anything Nissan. So everyone told me, well, I ordered those parts like back in March. They told me they were sending them April 12th. May 12th, I emailed them wondering where my shit was and said, oh, we forgot to send it. We'll send it right away. It's middle June. Where are my fucking parts? All I want to do is put three inches of lift on here. So, you know, when I want to go through, when, you know, these shitty all terrains are done, I can go put 33 inch Geolander MTG 003s. Because those look fucking badass. Anyways. Oh, sorry. There's a bug over there that looked funny. Sorry. If I look away, don't worry, I suffer from AD OS. Attention deficit. Oh, shiny. Well, anyways, I'm uh, just going to be chilling for a while. As soon as I got parts or some extra time and guys aren't on vacation out with their families camping and not wheeling you know barring stuff we'll get some uh, off-road videos going uh, I want to hit up the forks real light off-roading area in the sand uh, really easy stuff but a lot of fun and uh, Maybe Cypress Hills backcountry. Super easy, extremely stock friendly stuff, but scenery is amazing. It's fucking ant crawl on my leg. Well, check out this new stuff I got from Pirate Off Road Nation. Check out their new hats. These hats are fucking cool. Look at that. Navy blue, adjustable back. Up front, look at that. Fired off Pro Nation 4x4. It's awesome. Uh, I got a question. Anyone anyway, else with a Nissan Frontier? I keep getting rock chips in here. Right here. That's like the weirdest place to get rock chips. That's odd. I got a couple scratches on the door. Oh, well. oh look, the that guy's still there. My dad's buying it off me. He's making payments. Mostly because I need money. To buy parts that don't show up. Where the fuck are my parts? I don't usually do blogging videos, but I might have to start doing them. Yeah, well. Oil field work's going slow this year. Haven't worked since fucking Easter. The entire dip in Copenhagen. God, I gotta go to the States to get me some grizzly. Uh, anyways, I have to do say one thing. These these Hanukkah kind of, Dana Pro ATs, fucking wasp, get away from me. They're okay tires. 
Like, they're not grippy like a mud tire, but they're okay tires. I had them at Armada up at McLean Creek in uh, Ganass Country near Calgary in the mountains. They hook up pretty good. Not as good as an MT, but fuck, they hook up good. But sitting at, when I was sitting at 20 PSI, you know, they hooked up real good. Ah. Uh, so, um, if I could make a video and you see this thing shaved, that means I gone back to work. I ain't gonna shave the goatee off till I go to work. And I'll get a haircut about a month afterwards. You know, because that means I've been not work for a month. I can afford a fucking haircut, not just uh, shaving my backyard. <laughs> Ah, oh, this thing needs to be lifted. These mini trucks are cool and all, but fuck, they look a whole lot better lifted up and sitting taller than a half ton, don't they? Holy fuck. Well, a small town that was fucking out and crawling on my leg. I think I'm sitting on a fucking anthill or something. Look at some fucking poison put down fucking ants. Fucking ants. Oh, I'm standing up time. Oh. oh, that's hard. Oh. Well, oh, yeah, see that? That's my hunting trailer. I got that when I had the JK. Or else you're gonna throw a fucking deer on a JK. Now I got a truck. Maybe I should just turn that into an overlanding trailer. Fucking need to go to work buy a fucking steel to do that. It's an old courier. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Old courier. Ain't that something? I figure shackle lift it. Let's get the shackle lifts. Do that. And then, you know, switch it over to a pental hitch or something. Get rid of that topper. Put a cage on. A cage. And a rooftop tent. Unhitch it where I want to. Drop her. And go wheeling. All right. I'm gonna go back inside and keep watching motor train on demand. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.